where two lines, line segments or rays intersect, an angle is formed at that point. The point is referred to as a vertex. The size of an angle is a measure of the amount of turn or rotation from one line to the other about the vertex. Angles are measured in degrees. There are 360 degrees in a complete turn or rotation. The angle is referred to as angle B, which is the angle at point B, angle ABC, the angle formed by tracing from A to B to C, or angle CBA, which is the angle formed by tracing from point C to B to A. A protractor is used to measure angles. Angle ABC in this instance is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47 degrees. Angle ABC is equal to 47 degrees. A straight angle has an angle of 180 degrees. A right angle has an angle of 90 degrees and is represented by a special symbol, a square at the vertex. An angle of less than 90 degrees is referred to as an acute angle. An obtuse angle is an angle greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. An angle greater than 180 degrees is referred to as a reflex angle. Complementary angles. Note the spelling of complementary. Two angles are said to be complementary if their sum is equal to 90 degrees. Thus here, we see that A and B on the left hand side, they are complementary. They add up to 90 degrees. Two angles are said to be supplementary on the other hand if they add up to 180 degrees. On the right hand side of the screen, angles A and B are supplementary. I am Mr. Dubé. Remember, to get the most out of my channel, please view the videos in order using the playlist. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.